Millions of electric car batteries are retiring by 2030, and this could be a ticking time bomb. More than 6 million electric vehicle battery packs will end up in the scrapyard between now and 2030. And the recycling and reuse industries are working hard to find a solution. Some researchers project that recycling alone will be over a $12 billion industry by 2025. Every manufacturer building electric cars is using lithium batteries, and they are the most advanced and hold the longest charge. But there is a hidden ticking time bomb most people are missing that will impact our environment. The U.S. government wants to make America a key player in the EV battery industry with a $3.1 billion spending package for automobile production to transition away from fossil fuels. Now, much of this green energy relies on the Nevada High Desert facility called Thacker Pass. Currently, China dominates the world EV battery production with more than 80% of all units developed there. The current administration has its sights on being the top spot for EV battery production here in the U.S. However, insiders are pointing out industry traps that no one is talking about. But before we dig deeper into that, I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Due to the potentially dangerous chemistry of lithium ion EV units, concrete solutions are needed before an avalanche of dead batteries ends up sitting around and waiting for recycling like ticking time bombs. Those working on the sales end of the EV revolution tend to avoid or often give vague generalities when asked what will happen to all these batteries. The standard reply is lumped into something along the lines of, a very broad answer of recycling or second life applications without offering any plan details. Now, second life applications are an option for EV batteries that no longer work for cars, but are suitable for alternative use of energy storage. This is a great start, but the ultimate question lingers. How can America effectively deal with millions of completely spent, defective, or recalled EV units? For people who specialize in hazardous waste, handling lithium batteries is a serious subject. According to Scott Thibodeau at Viola North America, the second largest hazmat removal service in the United States, he explained that the chemistry of lithium ion batteries is problematic since they can't be dumped or recycled as easily as some other materials. This requires particular processes within the evolving EV industry to responsibly strip, package, and dispose of all units. Another factor is that EV batteries pose a significant fire hazard. Putting out a traditional fire is done with water or chemicals to cut the supply of oxygen. However, lithium is unique in that it doesn't require oxygen to burn. And once ignited, it creates what Thibodeau calls a thermal runway, which is incredibly challenging to control. And once the battery goes into that state, stopping it is next to impossible. Thibodeau says that while there is no easy way to put out a lithium battery fire, having proper handling and storage is a huge step in the right direction. Recycling EV batteries poses another significant hurdle. That's due to the complications including expense, existing capacity to handle the demand, and the simple fact that batteries aren't easy to recycle. Currently, less than 5% of lithium batteries that reach the end of their lifespan are recycled. It's not possible to recycle lithium ion batteries until they reach the end of their lifespan. Biden's Inflation Reduction Act wants the U.S. to increase EV lithium battery production. There's going to be a real supply crunch to get the materials needed. We don't have enough in the entire world to reach lithium needed by 2035. In addition, the EPA's slow permitting process has stalled the approval for new production sites. Meanwhile, China has continued to dominate the industry, refining more than half of all lithium supply, while Australia and Chile remain the largest producers in the world. We are in a tough position of trying to produce more EV batteries and no way to recycle all of them. How does any of this help the environment or even consumers? If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions or comments, because you always do, I'll be happy to answer them. All my links for social media, the book and the podcast are in the description below. Thank you so much for your support on our Patreon page. Thank you for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.